So, we've probably all already been in this situation before. You have a big plate of food in front of you, and you just don't eat all of it. You throw part of it out because you're not hungry, you don't like it, it's too cold, you don't have time to eat. The reasons are really endless. While it's true that this gesture may seem relatively meaningless, its normalization makes it more likely to happen again, and again, and again. Up until the point where, as it currently is the case today, 1.3 billion tons of food end up getting thrown out each and every year. As a matter of fact, according to the FAO, the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations, 33% of all food produced worldwide never even reaches our stomachs. 33%. Just think of all the food you have in your house, in your fridge, in your pantry. Statistically, a third of that will end up in the trash. Food waste is a terrible modern problem that affects us all in many different ways as a society. At the basis of this problem is the modern ubiquity of food. Food has become so much more prevalent in our everyday lives because of the expansions of fast food chains, restaurants, grocery stores, coffee houses, and even vending machines. When you live in a place where food is overabundant and underappreciated, it can be easy to dissociate the resource you have in front of you, for example, a meal, from its actual value. So, what do we do with this problem? How does it affect us? Well, for starters, when you're speaking of the environment, every single year, according to the World Resources Institute, 45 billion gallons of water are used to produce food that just ends up in the trash. For the economy, in Canada only, food waste costs us $31 billion a year. $31 billion. Just imagine all the good we could be doing with such a considerable amount of money. Furthermore, we can say that this problematic has a social, even ethical aspect. How can we, as a society, allow such precious resources to get thrown out when we know that every year, 795 million people don't have access to enough food to meet their daily nutritional needs. That's one person out of nine. It is such a considerable amount, and we really shouldn't be allowing people to discard food that is still edible when some people across the globe, and even in the town next to us, are going hungry. So, simple solutions are already put in place to help solve this problem. Some need to be developed a little bit more, but a good example of this is governments passing legislations that prevent grocery stores from throwing out food that is still edible. As a matter of fact, it is, it is very common worldwide for grocery stores to throw out fruits, vegetables, because they have imperfections. They have an unusual shape or form, and they are less likely to be sold than their more aesthetically pleasing counterparts. So, by preventing this problem, by making it illegal for them to do so, we can ensure that that food gets donated to food banks and that that food is still being put to its good use, feeding people a basic human need that, unfortunately, not everyone has access to. So it's very important to keep pushing with these types of legislations to ensure that food doesn't get thrown out for simple reasons such as being not aesthetically pleasing enough, when it has the same nutritional value as all other food. Another good example of this on a more local scale. Restaurants, school cafeterias, they can all offer a larger variety of portion sizes. Because there are some days where you're just not hungry for that big plate of pizza. And as many of you know, seeing kids throw out half a plate of spaghetti in a high school cafeteria really isn't uncommon. It's even something you see in restaurants, in your own house. So, by offering more portion sizes, students can choose which portion they want to eat more they can ensure that they won't be throwing out food in the trash at the end of the day. Simply taking time to think about your own consumption habits. Do I need to buy this? Am I going to eat this? Am I just buying it because it's on sale? Do I have other food I could be eating instead? These simple questions make us think about our daily consumption habits, and that allows us to think more about the impact of how we eat and allows us to make more rational decisions 
about how we choose to eat. So we know that food waste has such a big impact on our environment, our economy, and our social conscience. But by taking small steps every day in the right direction, we can ensure that this problem doesn't keep having such a considerable negative impact on our society. Thank you.